Hey guys, are you looking to buy a gas generator? Maybe you're looking for some off-grid power or maybe you're just looking for some backup power in case of a power outage. Are you wondering what's the difference between a regular generator and an inverter generator? And maybe which one is right for you? Well, in today's video, we'll try to get that all figured out. Hey there outdoor YouTubers. Well, like I said earlier, in today's video, we're talking about portable gas powered generators and the differences between a regular generator and an inverter generator. Maybe you're doing some off-grid camping, but you still wanna have electrical power. Maybe you've got some off-grid projects that require power, or maybe you're just looking for a little backup power at your house in case the power goes out. Now, maybe you've heard some talk about these inverter generators and you're kind of wondering if that's the right type of generator for what you might be doing. Okay, so what is an inverter generator? Well, first let's talk about a conventional or a regular generator. A regular generator is a combustion engine that spins a generator that produces raw electricity that comes out of the outlets so you can power things up. An inverter generator is similar in that it has a combustion engine that spins a generator and it produces electricity, but the inverter generator takes the electricity that comes out of that spinning generator, which is that raw AC power, and then the inverter generator turns that AC power into DC power and then it turns it back into AC power again, and that's what you find at the outlets, and that's what you use to power your devices up. Okay, well that really sounds like a lot of unnecessary steps just to kind of get that same AC power at the 120 outlets of your generator, right? Well, not exactly. There are some real advantages to manipulating that raw AC power when it comes to these inverter generators. One advantage that the inverter generator has is that the AC power that comes out at the outlets for your use is a very clean, smooth AC power. Whereas the AC power that comes out of a regular generator like this one is a lot more raw and choppy. And some sensitive electronics like TVs and computers really don't like that kind of choppy raw AC power and it can have negative effects on those devices. Now, I personally believe that that's less of a problem in today's day and age than it was say 15, 20 years ago. I think the electronic devices that they make today are much more immune to that choppy raw AC power than they used to be, but it still may have an effect on certain devices. Another advantage to the inverter generator is that the sophisticated electronics that monitor and manipulate the electricity, those electronics can also sense the load that's on the generator. And because of that, the inverter generator can ramp up or idle down the combustion engine depending on load. Whereas your regular generator pretty much just kind of runs full bore all the time. There's little shifts within the carburation system, but for the most part, it's just kind of running full bore regardless of load. And I'm gonna kind of show you guys what I mean. I'm gonna put some load on both these generators and you'll kind of be able to hear how they react, all right? And my load is gonna be a toaster, okay? And the reason I'm using a toaster is a toaster is a pretty good electrical load and it's also quiet. So you'll be able to kind of hear how the generators react to the toaster going on and off. All right, so let's start with this regular generator. Okay, you can kind of hear it running. 
plug the toaster in and put one on, another on. And you could hear it shift just a little bit, but for the most part, with the toaster off, no load as far as the toaster goes. The generator is still running pretty hard, okay? All right, so we'll move this over to our inverter generator. Okay. And I think you can notice the inverter generator is pretty quiet. There's no load on it right now, so it's not really running full bore. So we'll add a little load, just kind of listen. Hear how it kind of ramps up with load. We'll add this other set on the toaster. Kind of ramps up again. Off, off. We'll do it one more time. So you could kind of hear how the inverter generator was ramping up with load, but for the most part that regular generator just runs full bore all the time. So with all things being equal, this inverter generator is going to be a lot quieter, all right? Even if it had the same engine and the same muffler system, the inverter generator is going to sense load and when it doesn't see load, it's going to kind of idle down, all right? And that way it's also going to be much more fuel efficient. So if an inverter generator is going to, generally speaking, be more quiet, more fuel efficient, and it's going to have a much cleaner electrical signal coming out of it, what is the downside to getting an inverter generator? Or is there even a downside to getting an inverter generator? Well, generally speaking, the equivalent size or wattage inverter generator will be more expensive than the regular generator counterpart. Also, the inverter generator has more electronics on it, so some might say there's more things to go wrong on it. But at the same time, because of these electronics, this inverter generator isn't running full bore all the time, so that might lead you to believe that the engine longevity is gonna be a lot better with an inverter generator. Now, both these generators have about the equivalent wattage output or power output, which means both these generators can pretty much run the same amount of electrical stuff. But I think you guys saw from the toaster experiment that the regular generator is quite a bit louder. So if you're looking for a generator for camping, it might be kind of nice to keep the noise levels down. Or if you're looking to power up your off-grid cabin, it's gonna be nice to keep the noise levels down. And in both those scenarios, it's gonna be nice to have that better fuel efficiency that you get with an inverter generator. Now, if you just want some electrical power to power up some tools for an off-grid project, maybe you're building an off-grid cabin and you need some electrical power to make some cuts with a saw, or periodically run a compressor for the pneumatic nail gun, well, that might be a scenario where you really don't care about the noise levels and it's maybe not that important to have good fuel efficiency. That might be a scenario where you really don't mind a little bit more noise or a little less fuel economy. You would just rather spend less money on the generator itself. But what if you're looking for some backup power in case of a power outage. Well, in that case, maybe you don't mind the extra noise of a regular generator, but it might come in handy to have a lot better fuel economy. Now, here's another thing to consider when you're trying to decide between getting a regular generator or an inverter generator. An inverter generator already utilizes electronics to convert the AC to DC 
and then back to the AC again. So it is very common with inverter generators to have DC outlets right on them. Like this Furman generator that I recently upgraded to, as you can see, you know, we already went through, we do have the duplex 120 out right there, okay? It also has a 30 amp RV plug, all right, for you RVers out there. But it also has this USB port for charging phones and other devices. And this is kind of a neat feature. Let me grab this. It has this 12 volt DC out plug on it. You just plug this in right here. That's a 12 volt DC output. And now you've got yourself a 12 volt battery charger. So having all those electronics that give you that clean AC signal are also utilized to give you some DC outputs here too. And then another pretty cool feature about this particular 3650 IE is that, and I think you heard that from the uh, toaster experiment, it is very quiet, okay? It comes with this Whisper Series muffler on it, but, and I took this back panel off, it also comes with this sound absorbing panels kind of all around and that sucks up a lot of the noise from the engine too. This Furman generator has a 1.8 gallon tank on it and it will run up to nine hours at 25% load. And these Furman generators come with a three year warranty. This Furman generator weighs about 90 pounds but it's got these really good lift handles on it. It's got the wheel package and it's got this fold away travel handle that folds completely out of the way. So when you're transporting this or storing it in the garage, it can fit into a really tight space. And here's another pretty cool thing about this Furman inverter generator. Um, again, as you saw from the toaster experiment, this generator has electric start. It does have the pull cord backup, all right? but electric start is very convenient. And here's another cool part about that electric start. This Furman generator comes with a trickle charger. It plugs right into the generator, so you're good to go anytime that battery is being maintained and being kept up to charge. So this generator really suits my needs. We have an off-grid camp that we mostly like to utilize battery power at, but batteries go dead and they need to be charged and we usually have different construction projects going on at that off-grid camp and then sometimes in the heat of summer uh, we're running fans inside the camp to kind of cool the camp down and you know fans can be kind of an electrical load that chews up on the batteries pretty good and then another thing that we do out at the camp in the summer is i'll bring my boat out there and we'll do a little fishing at the local lakes and every evening when we come back to the camp, I want to be able to charge up those batteries that power up my electric motor on the boat. So if we're going to be running the generator out at the camp in the evenings, powering up those fans, charging up those batteries, it really is nice to have a nice quiet generator. And it really is nice to have a fuel efficient generator. And of course, this is going to be a great option if we need some backup power here at the house. So I really like how quiet this generator is. I like the fuel economy. I like how easy it is to start. This particular model goes for around $1,000. And if you do some comparative shopping, you'll find out that that is a very good price for an inverter generator that comes with these features. Now, Furman makes all different types of generators. Electric start, recoil start, remote start different sizes, different fuels. So whatever kind of generator you're looking for, Furman probably has it. It's gonna come with that three-year warranty and it's gonna be priced right. So guys, I hope that helps you out if you're trying to decide between a regular generator and an inverter generator. And if you're at all interested in Furman generators, I'll leave a link below. You can go to their website and check out all that they have to offer. Eat shark. 
Very good. So guys, if you're interested in more videos about getting out and enjoying the great outdoors of Michigan's Upper Peninsula, be sure to check out the entire channel. And if you enjoy what you see, please consider liking and subscribing. And for bonus content, be sure to check out our Patreon page. A link to this page can be found in the description of this video. And also guys, remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. Thanks for watching and God bless.